Hmm. Zion leaves all of a sudden. Brandon Ingram and Valanchunas on the bench. Lakers shoot 29 free throws. Ha. Huh. Whatever happened there. Whatever happened there. All right, then. Whatever yeah. happened there. <sighs> Last night, some of y'all were with me when I live shooting the Lakers and Pelicans game, right? As we all know, that game was anyway nowhere shape and close into form to be authentic. We all know that game was a bunch of frauds. I had my dad, I think I said in last year, I had my dad text me and said, what the hell is going on? What, what, what is this? This is the most rigged game I've ever seen in my life. He was right. And for some reason, he's been trying to cape for LeBron James, but he couldn't do it anymore last night. He saw the 4K that was going on. And the only thing he can say, reply back is saying, the NBA needs the Lakers in the playoffs, despite this team not being all that good. That's what it is. 29 free throws. 29 free throws to the Pelicans 15. I think the Pelicans had like, let me check my box score right quick. But I know the Lakers had like 12 fouls called on them. It was ridiculous. Completely asinine. So if you look at the box score from last night, I'll put it up on the screen. Actually, I think it's already on the screen. 29 free throws to Pelicans 15. Uh, personal fouls. Pelicans had 23 personal fouls. Lakers had 12. And if the Lakers did foul, they act like they didn't foul anybody. They act like they never foul anybody. LeBron James, stiff arming. Dudes like he Derrick Henry on the field, knocking them over. But the Pelicans get the foul when that happened. There was literally a play park with three, two or three minutes left in the game. LeBron does his bowling ball act. He literally pushes C.J. McCollum out the way, and he ended up calling foul on C.J. McCullough when he tried to recover. Valanchunas and Brandon Ingram, I don't know why they was on the bench. They was on the bench. <clears throat> Zion, he had 40 points and 11 rebounds. He was balling. Oh, he hurt his foot. Ticket TV tried to give up excuses. I had to call him out on this one. No. Nah. No, nah, bro. There's a rigging that went on. Zion got that call from Adam Silver last night. That's why he looked frustrated. Because if I'm killing the Lakers, and the Lakers are getting killed in the paint, I think they got, I think it was a 62-35 advantage in the paint for the Pelicans. If I If I'm Zion, and I got 40 and 11 on the Lakers. Actually, Lakers defense is not that great. I think the Lakers defense is worse than the Bucks defense by efficiency, if you look it up. I always thought for the whole season, Lakers had, I thought they had a piss poor offensive rating and a better defensive rating. No, their defensive rating sucks. I think it's like in the 20 somewhere for the regular season. But, uh, Going back to what I'm saying, I got off track to say that. But they were 62 and 35 or something like that in the paint. Zion had 40 points and 11 rebounds. All of a sudden, his calf or whatever hurts, and he has to go to the back. Because you see him, you see somebody calling to him back, and he looks frustrated. I would say, after that, I'm going out there. But I, I somebody called him and said, nope, Zion, you're doing too much. You're killing the Lakers. You cannot be out there. You cannot be out there. You remember the contract you signed. Remember that money you getting. Remember all them strippers you getting. All them adult stars you about to get. All them McDonald's bags. Get your ass, big ass back here. Uh-uh. You ain't about to have 50 points on them. That's what happened. You're about to see some real effed up stuff with this Denver uh, Lakers matchup. And I hope the, the Nuggets defeat it. So we'll have to hear about this until next year. Also, depending where LeBron goes next year, he decides to stay with the Lakers or he decides to go whatever his uh, son goes to. And no disrespect to the son, because son don't deserve any of the hate, but we all know what's going on there. The son ain't that great. But both AD and LeBron, they was terrible. 
They lucky they had D'Angelo Russell with them. I don't know why they keep leaving D'Angelo Russell open for some reason. I don't know. I understand why they keep doing that. I wonder if it's a quota in the contract or something. You know what? I'm starting to think before. We can't see it. We definitely can't see it. But I think behind the scenes, I think they have like a production crew or production uh, meeting before with both teams telling them what they can and can't do to make the game look authentic. I bet you. Because I'm starting to get really suspicious of this league. And I think it goes on in some of the sports. I think it goes on in the NFL, the most, the two most money-making pro leagues in this country, probably in this world as well. Soccer's a big. No, we ain't talking about soccer having a big influence. We're talking about entertainment here. Soccer probably overseas is probably pure soccer. But these two leagues, NFL and NBA, dictated by money. They want the owners and commissioner want to see. But anyways, this has gone on too far enough, but <sighs> I'm not understand why Brandon Ingram's on the bench other than somebody told him to stay his ass on the bench. Don't go out there. Valanchunas could have helped, especially with AD. Maybe they thought AD was having a bad game. We don't need him, which is stupid to think like think like that. I don't know what happened to CJ McCullough. The only one that appeared to show is the one we always talk about is Zion. <sighs> boy, oh boy. He thought 2002 was bad. Wait till you see what's going to happen in this year. But I can't say any I can't say too much. I think most of my subscribers who was with me last night watched this game already said we already said what it needed to be said already. <laughs> but his fans, the Lakotas, will swear up and down that the game was real and you just mad and whatever else BS to be uttering out their mouths when it come to my channel. I'm already ready to hear that crap. So, and I just find it funny. They will come on my channel and call me a hater. I wear that, I guess. It's not going to make me go cry in the corner. Call me a hater. No, I'm just pointing out the truth. I'm pointing out the truth that your know, fraud is a fraud. He gets helped by the NBA. And last night was a perfect example of that. It's you guys that have the problem. It's you guys that are in denial about it. They don't want to face the facts because maybe if it's, which it is true. When you find out it is true, it destroys your whole world. And you go eat Big Macs for five days straight in depression mode because you can't face the fact that a league has its uh, old ass superstar getting help from the league and from the refs. 29 and 15. At one point in time in that game, the Pelicans had four fouls. Not four fouls, four free throws on them for them. While the Lakers already was in, had 16 fouls. It's crazy. 